What's up guys? You're about to see the fastest way to scrape Google Maps to then prospect. There's a lot of cool things you can do. This video will save you hours and hours of time and it's a real world use case for my friend. By the way, if you want to see more content like this, this is a sneak preview of some of the content that I post in my Slack community. Go ahead down to the description below this video. You can just go down here to the description, click right here, the link in the description. This is another video that I posted in the Slack community. And you're probably thinking, wow, why is he posting them on YouTube as well? I'm not gonna do this forever. I'm just trying to show some cool stuff that you will get in the Slack community. You also get to ask me questions personally about your cold outreach. So if you want help with your own outbound, there's a lot of things you can do in Clay. Reach out to me, you can do it right in the Slack community. Click the link down below, sign up, and you can see here we're discussing a lot of cool stuff. We're discussing how to prospect from Google Maps, we're discussing how to set up outbound emails, we're discussing um, over here cold calling strategies. This is how to turn warm leads into meetings booked. Um, a lot of cool stuff going on. A cold call that I did, how do I book meetings with uh, with Clay AI and automation. So go ahead and jump in. It's free to start. Looking forward to seeing you in there. What's going on guys? Jacob Tewiner here with another video. Today I'm going to show you the fastest way to prospect from Google Maps. This is specifically to reach out to uh, pediatricians in Indiana, but this will work for whatever you want. Uh, as an ABA therapist referral coordinator, essentially ABA therapy companies reach out to local pediatricians to try and get referrals for the ABA therapy services. I'm here with my buddy Joseph, Joseph Estevez. Hello. He is starting, he had his first day on the job today and he told me what he was doing. So I'm going to show you a very basic way to automate a lot of the manual work that he was doing. And it's his first day on the job, so he doesn't necessarily know a ton about what types of companies to look for and how many locations he wants and what titles to ask for. So we can't do a ton of advanced automations yet um, because the computer is only as intelligent as its pilot. However, as we improve, with as he calls and he gets more experience, we'll probably do a follow-up video where we have more automations to try and find out like how many locations do they have. Maybe with ChatGPT we can do different things. So. But for now, we're going to do a basic thing. So we're in Clay. I made this account for him. So when he goes to work tomorrow, I'll have this list. Essentially, what we want to do is first say cities in Indiana. So, you know, I'm going to start with Bloomington as an example. Um, and we want the longitude and latitude. And you'll see why in a second. So here we go. Got it right here. Great. So we're going to go ahead and click uh, New Table. And we're going to add the table. Whoops, that's not what we're supposed to do. We're actually going to, so we're going to click find new leads. We're gonna do a company list. And then we're going to click find local businesses using Google Maps. So now we can enter our search query. So essentially, um, we can say, let's say pediatrician. Um, and we'll say Bloomington, Indiana. Next, we're gonna say number of results. The maximum that we can pull is 300, so we'll do 300. Now we have to add our latitude and longitude so it can use location data to try and find the right places. So our latitude is right here. Boom. Longitude is right here. Boom. And uh, we'll say 19, which means close. Actually, let's just say 15. New blank table. We'll call this uh, <clears throat> pediatricians in Indiana. And we're gonna call this view the um, Bloomington, Indiana. Great. So as you can see here, we already have 55 rows. We can get more than 55, but this is just for the search. And if we open up this cell, we can see it returned back the phone number, the the, na the doctor's office name, their reviews, their address, um, and their website. <coughs> so I'm just going to grab all this data into my sheet. The, uh, I'll do it in order. I'll get their doctor's office name. Then we'll get their address. <coughs> we'll get their website. And lastly, the phone number. Oh, of course. Second. Okay, now we're going to grab the phone number. Done. And within, uh, I don't know, how was that? Two minutes, minute or two? I already have 70 different offices and 70 phone numbers to call. Joseph, how long would, Joseph, sorry. How long would this take you? How long would it take you to add 70 people to a sheet? 
70 companies do a sheet like this. 70, probably at least an hour, so maybe an hour or two or more. Okay, so we just saved him like a 30th to a 60th. It's two minutes long. So, you know, between an hour and two hours uh, of time just to do this. And there's a lot more we can do. Um, for example, calling uh, dentistry, dentist offices is not really a, uh, something that you want to do because they're. From my other buddy in ABA therapy, he's a state director, he told me that the dentist offices are ones you want to stay away from. And for some reason, when you search for pediatricians, dentistry usually comes up. So if we look right here, you can see dentistry. So some keywords that we want to avoid are going to be dentistry, what else, dental probably. Um, what else would you want to avoid? Let's just, we'll just do dentistry and dental right now. So you would just go here, filter, doctor name does not contain dentistry, or we'll say dentist. Or we can duplicate and say does not contain dental. Save. Okay. <clears throat> and they're gone. Cool. So, again, we already saved a ton of time. Um, if we want to go one step further, let's say we only want to go after clinics that have that are small, because you know, let's say between like, um, let's say between, th you know, three and t and ten locations. This way, they're big enough to have a lot of referral volume, but not so big that it will take forever to break in, and not so small that they have no leads to send us. Here's how we're going to do it. So. Essentially, going in and trying to find the company locations, there's a few ways we could do that. We could go on the website, find their locations page, and figure out how many locations they have. Um, I think an easier way to do it for now is to scrape their LinkedIn and look at their employee count and just use that as a way to judge how big the, the company is. As you can see here, most of the individual locations that were found in Google Maps are all the same company. Riley Children's, Indiana University of Health, are uh, two of the major players, they're like the two major players, and there's a few smaller, um, smaller places like Bloomington Pediatric, so they're Indiana Pediatric, that kind of thing. So, what you could do if you wanted to is you could filter based on employee count. All I did was for this enrichment, I went in and I gave it the website that I scraped. Basically, I got the homepage URL of the location, and then I fed it into the enriched company enrichment and it looked at the website on LinkedIn to find the LinkedIn profile. And then from the LinkedIn profile, we pulled out, you can get whatever you want. You can get their LinkedIn company page, their name, their, their size, etc. So I had pulled out their employee account. And then we could do a filter and say, I don't know, let's filter and say that we want employee account to be less than or equal to, let's say, I don't know, a thousand for some reason. So now we have 23 different places we can go. 23 different phone numbers. That's just an example. So we're going to end it here. Um, as you can see, we already saved you know hours of, of work by just scraping Google Maps very quickly and getting already 40 different companies, 40 different locations at least. Uh, it could be hundreds or more. There is more we could do with Clay to unlock better prospecting and finding the right locations to go after. This is a very broad search. However, due to I've never really prospected into the medical uh, industry. And Joseph is his first day on the job, so I don't think he knows so much either. But as he gets going, we're going to find out, are these locations at massive companies like this one with tons of locations? It could be that it's very hard to break in because you have to go all the way to the top of the food chain to get buy-in to get referrals. Or it could be that every ind independent location actually has its own autonomy and their own discretion of where they send their referrals. So if that's the case, then it actually would not be a problem to call these big companies. And in fact, you actually might end up getting tons of referrals out of it. So we're going to stop here. We, just to recap, we search for one city with a keyword and a location. We pulled back 60 results and we filtered out dentists, and we got their name, address, website, and phone number within like a few minutes. Um, and as we get better at prospecting, and we have more criteria that we can use to try and find the right number of locations, or whatever, we can do that in Clay as well. So stay tuned for a follow-up video. Hope you found this valuable, and I'll catch you in the next one.